Hey guys, I'm Tesla and in this tutorial we're going to take a look at the pawn sensing component. So this has been in since 4.5 and it includes sight and hearing abilities for AI characters out of the box. In this video we're going to focus on the vision of the character, so I'll throw up another tutorial soon which is also focused on the hearing. Ok so let's start by duplicating the my character blueprint and let's name this basic AI just so we have some uh, an AI character here so let's just delete everything in the graph as well because we won't need any of that and let's come into the components tab and let's add in a new component and it's going to be this new pawn sensing component just here under AI hit compile and we'll see loads of spheres so the main one we're going to focus on today is just this green one just here so this is his vision so to clear it up a bit we can just grab the peripheral vision angle and we can see it's basically his view cone here and we can change the sight radius for his vision length so I'm just going to put it to there, let's just put it about there and let's come to the, the graph now and with that pawn sensing component let's select it right click and add an event for it event dispatches and we see we have a add on C pawn event so we're going to use this and it returns a pawn, so this is basically the pawn that's been seen, so let's drag this out and cast it to my character. So if he sees my character we could then right click and type in AI move to, connect these up together, the target actor is going to be this guy and the pawn is just going to be a reference of himself, of this blueprint. So yeah, that's basically going to chase the player as soon as he sees him, and we could probably turn up his acceptance radius to about, uh, let's just put 10. Now before we drag him in, we want to make sure we have a nav mesh bounds volume in the map, which I already do, and you're going to hit P to turn the, um, the visual markers for that on and off. So we can drag this guy in now, and I'm just going to move him over here, because I think I'm spawning behind, yeah, I'm spawning behind there, so let's just move him there. So if I jump in and go run straight into him, he will then chase me. So it's a really cool um, AI system set up by default with this. So what we can do is change how often he searches um, or fires the event to see if he sees anything. So this event is getting fired, I believe it's every 0.5 seconds, and we can check that just by coming to the components tab selecting the pawn sensing and you'll find sensing interval so we could put this down to 0 0.05 and he's going to be firing that event constantly to see if he sees anyone so this should make it as soon as he sees me he'll start chasing me yeah Okay guys, that's it for this tutorial, just looking at the new pawn sensing component which has been in since 4.5. So thanks for checking this tutorial out, and I hope you enjoyed it, and please make sure you stay subscribed. Cheers guys!